This car is running on a mixture of diesel and the fuel produced from recycled tyres. It's taken a decade of research, but in the last few weeks we can reveal there's been a breakthrough. It's produced at this research unit near Wrexham. How they do it, of course, is a commercially sensitive secret, but the basics are straightforward. Basically what we do is we take rubber crumb like this, it's been made from tyres, we put it into our process, like that, goes down through the process, through the heating process of our machine, and we drive off some gas, and some of that gas is turned back into oil, which we tap off the other end of the machine, and we use our oil to run cars. Now it takes between 10 and 15 minutes for the process to be completed and you get this. And you know, it's so new they haven't even got a name for it. But I wanted to put the fuel to the test. So now we're pouring the fuel into the car. So what, what sort of mix are we using here? Uh, that's it. Uh, we're using a, a mix of 25% uh, of our oil against 75% uh, diesel. But we have run the car on 50% uh, of each. So, how many tyres would it take to, to make a litre of this fuel? Well, we get about two to three litres out of every tyre. That's remarkable. It is, yeah, yeah. So the prospects are, you know, they're, they're huge, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. There's plenty of oil where we come from. <laughs> Our spin round the Anglesey circuit didn't seem to do the car any harm. Of course, the companies say more research and critically investment is now needed. Meanwhile, the car acting as a guinea pig belonged to a scientist from Bangor University. She's part of a scheme helping small companies with expertise. You were confident enough to put this fuel in your own car. I've chemically analysed it for a year, compared it to diesel and found that it is of a similar composition, but it has got a higher... Um, calorific value. So basically you've got more oomph in it, you've uh, got more power. Fundamentally this will solve a huge, could solve a huge problem. There are millions and millions and millions of tyres. Absolutely, yes. So with the number of old tyres literally going through the roof, ways of reducing this mountain are being welcomed. The, the concept of turning the tyres back into oil and carbon black and using the oil as a fuel is a, you know, a really valuable asset that we could use in Wales and then it would be treated locally in Wales. So thanks to this new venture, the time may come when unwanted tyres like these may indeed become black gold for the Welsh economy. Ian Lang, Wales Tonight.